I hello, this is Eric Toman with Toman Solutions. Um, recently my mom had called me and she had had an interesting problem. A uh, friend of hers had received an Excel spreadsheet that literally had a thousand rows in it of uh, names and addresses. And somehow she needed to convert these into mailing list labels. Now, she could have copied and pasted every single one of these into a Word document, but she would have been copying and pasting until the cows come home. So, today I'd like to show you a quick and easy way of how uh, Word will allow you to automatically convert this Excel uh, document into mailing list labels. So, first, what I have here is I have a sample uh, Excel spreadsheet that I've done up that has some names and addresses in it. Uh, the spreadsheet is similar to the ones that uh, my mom's friend had. So, for, for our, before we can begin, we need to prepare this Excel spreadsheet to... Uh, due to the mail merge. So, so the first thing we have to do is you'll notice in order to mail merge the document the the, um, the column headings has to be the first row in in the document. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this and we're going to move it up. Hold on. Sorry, we're gonna select these two. We're gonna delete these because these will contain addresses. So we're just gonna delete those two rows and delete those. All right. So, 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 so now we have my column header is the first row in the Excel spreadsheet, and then we have addresses underneath. One other thing we need to do is you'll see in this example that I made here that we have a row with a. Uh, no address in it, so, so we need to delete that too in order to save paper. Because if you have a lot of rows that don't have addresses in them, you don't want to um, you don't want to mail merge those. So we're going to delete that row too. All right. So uh, now we have our document ready to mail merge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and file, same as. Now, I don't want to cheat it. I'm going to call this my contact list, too. Alright. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Microsoft Word. Okay, so now I got Microsoft Word open and we got a blank Word document. So, first thing we need to do in order to start our mail merge is we need to create a label document. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to mailings, labels. And give it a second here. So now, now my label dollar box is option. Next, I'm going to go to options. And my mom's friend was using the Avery label, so I'm going to go to Avery US label letter. And her template number was um, 5160. So I'm going to go over here. One up. 5160. Okay. All right. So. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to select New Document. Right, so I have that now. Now I have my other document here. I don't need that anymore, so I'm just going to close that out. Alright, so now we're ready to begin our mail merge. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Mailings, and I'm going to select Recipients, and you're going to use, use Existing List. All right, 
and then I'm gonna go on my desktop. On my now I'm gonna select my Excel spreadsheet. Click open. Alright. Now my 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 addresses are on sheet one, so I'm gonna select sheet one and then make sure this box right here it says first row data contains column headers. Make sure that's checked. And I'm gonna hit OK. Alright. Now I can begin designing my label. So I'm gonna go to design. Layout. I mean, now my label will be centered. So what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna go back to mailing, and I'm gonna go select. Res oh, sorry. I'm gonna go to insert merch field. All right. So the, the the first thing in my address is my salutation. All right. Then I'm gonna hit the space key, and then I'm gonna put. First name, space, last name, and then return, and then address, return, and then city, comma, space, and then state, space, and then zip. Now, if we go over to preview results, we can see it has my first record in there already. So, so, so that's good. All right, so what we need to do is we need to propagate all these labels so it fills the whole sheet. So that way we're not printing one label on per sheet. So, so, so the way we do this is, is we go over, find it, we click here. Hold on, I'm trying to get this to work here. Uh, well, this is not working. Start mail merge labels. Okay, we're gonna start mail merge labels. Alright, then we're gonna hit OK. Hold on, sorry, that's, 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 that's wrong. Never mind. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to update labels right here. Right. And we notice that they're a little funky because my uh, space is off, so I'm going to highlight all of these. And I'm going to go to layout and center those. And highlight all of these. And I'm going to go to layout and center those. Alright, so now if I go back to my mailings, your results, we have my labels in there. So, so, what the, the, the final thing we gotta do is we gotta convert this into an actual document. So, so the way we do that is we go to finish and merge, edit individual documents. And we we want to merge all the records, and, and there, there you go. Every every cell record is now a. Uh, or label, so you can go over here and you can print them out on your labels, and you're good. So, uh, I hope this helps my mom's friend, and I, this is Eric Tobin with Tobin Solutions, and I'll talk to you later.